Hello. I've prepared a speech for you today uh, regarding an important uh, incident and a situation that, that occurred. Let me just... Uh, my sincerest and deepest apologies to the township of Sparkling Gulch and anyone affiliated with the Community Day Festival that, that took place at uh, Egbert's Field on April 7th of this year. Due to a miscommunication of ideas, there was a confusion that, <coughs> that led to the disappointment of the dozens of townspeople that attended, as well as the hundreds of thousands of others who also attended. Being the organizer of the event, I am accepting partial blame of this mix-up, as well as stepping down from my post as city councilman until the pending litigation is resolved. Unbeknownst to me, the advertisements that appeared on radio, television, newspaper ads, Flyers and posters around the town were accidentally misleading when they stated that on Community Day, Michael Jackson was to appear. Unbeknownst to me, there is more than one Michael Jackson in the entertainment field. The Michael Jackson that I am familiar with and that was scheduled to appear at the festival is Michael Jackson of 32 Field Street, Caddy Corner to Phipps Pharmacy, where Tuesday is 5% off the seniors. To further the confusion, I was recently informed that when I created the flyers, I should have used better punctuation when underneath Mr. Jackson's name, I wrote King of Pop, as this is a nickname that many connect to the other Mr. Jackson. The print ads should have read Michael Jackson, King of P period, O period, P period, or more precisely, Michael Jackson, king of painting on pets. Um, it seems unnecessary to specify the meaning of this. So at the time I, of this, you know, Mr. Jackson has been providing his pet face painting service for years, as, as you know, oftentimes using non-toxic paints. I realize that the exceptionally large turnout this year was not just a coincidence, and that many people went through a great time and expense to reach our small town and now feel duped, but I would like to reassure all attendees and participants that any profit made from the event will be invested into the reconstruction of Sparkling Gulch, the foundation of which was altered significantly due to the subsequent rioting and isolated incidents of mayhem. I hope I provided a better understanding of what occurred and the efforts of those at fault to rectify the situation. Thank you. And anyone interested in contacting Mr. Jackson for public events or private parties can reach him at 452-69. Oh, thank you.